Hello, my name is Ilka Schaap and welcome to Clear Dutch Grammar. Uh, this is the very first video and one of the first things that you're going to need uh, for learning Dutch grammar is to know how to make the root or the stem of Dutch verbs. Let's get started. So uh, root in Dutch is referred to with stem. You will find this in many lesson books, so I will be working with that as well. Um, the other term that we will see in this video is the infinitive, infinitive in Dutch. Um, that means that uh, I'm talking about the complete verb, the verb that is ending with en in Dutch, all verbs end with en. In English it would be to work, for example, they will have the word to before it. And this is also the infinitive is also, uh, it's the basic form of the verb in which you will find it in the dictionary. All right. So here we have the the infinitive werken, which means to work. And now we want to make the stam. How do we do that? Well, we simply remove en. What are we left with? The stam. The stam means is work, werk. You can use the stam for the first person singular. So for ik, I. Ik werk is I work. Um, Seems pretty easy, right? Let's do another one. Dansen, it means to dance. Take away EN and we are left with dance. So if you want to say I dance, you say ik dance. All right. Now let's practice this a bit. This is the first exercise you will make the sum of the following verbs. Helpen, to help, drinken, to drink, wachten, to wait, Brengen, to bring and fietsen to cycle. So take a paper and a pen and make the stem, write it down the way you think it will be. You can pause the video now. After that, I'll show you the answers. All right. Are you done? Ready for the answers? Well, first thing we do is remove en of all the verbs. Just take it out. And what we are left with is called the stem. Help. Drink, wacht, breng, fiets. Easy enough, right? Just in case you're curious to know the meaning. For example, for ik, ik help, I help. Ik drink, I drink. Ik wacht, I wait. Ik breng, I bring. Ik fiets, I cycle or I ride a bike. Okay. Now, there is something that you have to keep in mind with Dutch. There uh, is going to be a change in the spelling for some words. Not for the words we saw just now. I will later explain why there is a difference. Okay, the first spelling change is the doubling or duplicating of the vowel. Um, for example, vowels are A, E, I, O, U, or in Dutch that would be A, E, I, O, U. So those are the vowels. All the other letters of the alphabet are consonants. Just a reminder. Okay, so for example, we have the word wonen, to live. So you would think, okay, I follow the rule that I just uh, explained to you. You repeat, you remove EN, and then I have won. But this is not really the stem. Because once you've removed en, if the last letter is only one consonant, if you have one consonant at the end, you see there's one n, then you have to double the vowel that is before that consonant. So in this case, the o. It's also the only one left, so here is easy. But later on you will have longer words, and then you will have to know which vowel to double. You have to look from it at from the end on. So let's have a look at one of those words. Betalen. So first thing you do is remove en. All right. At the end of what is left, we have only one consonant. One n l. Okay. So that means we have to double the vowel that comes before the l, which is the a. So there we go. Double the A. All right, so then you have your stem. Betaal. If we go back 
to the verbs that we saw before, then you see that if you remove en from all these verbs, you are left at the end with two consonants. For example, helpen, remove en, help. They have two consonants at the end, l, p, so you don't double the vowels, right? Just to compare. Okay. Now let's uh, practice this a bit with the following words. Maken, to make. Heten, to be called. Studeren, to study. Spreken, to speak. Herhalen, to repeat. Write down the way you think the stem has to be. You can pause the video now. Alright, time for the answers. Maken. We remove EN, we have 1K, so we have to double the A, MAC. Heten, remove EN, we have one consonant, T, so we have to double the E, HATE. Studeren, remove EN, we are left with one consonant at the end, which is the R, then you have to double the E, STUDEER. Spreken, remove en. At the end we are left with one consonant, the k, so we have to double the e. Herhalen, remove the en, left with one l, re uh, duplicate the a. Alright, just to give you the translations. Mark, make, hate, I'm cold, studeer, study, spreek, speak, herhaal, repeat. The next spelling thing you have to keep in mind when you want to make the stem with Dutch verbs is the following. You have to remove a double same consonant at the end of the word. For example, if you have the verb zitten, to sit, and you remove en, then the word that would you, you would think is the stem would be zit. Now in Dutch, you can never ever have two of the same consonants at the end of a word. It just it simply doesn't exist. In English you have that. I will, will with double L, miss with double S. In Dutch such things don't exist. So we have to remove the last consonant of the stem. And then we have the real stem which is zit. Let's see another one. Vertellen. You remove en and you are left with the word vertel double l we cannot have double same consonants at the end of a word so we remove an l and there you go vertel let's practice this a bit with the verbs liggen to lie bakken to bake bestellen to order zeggen to say vertrekken to depart you can now write down your answers. Pause the video. All right, time for the answers. So we remove en, and I have highlighted the particular things in the words with bold letters. For example, liggen, you see it has two times g. You make it just one. Lig. Bakken, double K becomes one K. Bak. Bestellen, double L becomes one L. Zeggen, the double G becomes one G. En vertrekken, the double K becomes one K. The meanings of these words. Ik lig. I lie. In the meaning of lying, laying on the couch, for example. Ik bak, I bake. Ik bestel, I order. Ik zeg, I say, ik vertrek, I depart. Okay, there's just one more thing about the spelling that you will have to know. Maybe you have seen this before. There is another rule about the ending of a word. In Dutch, a word can never ever end with a Z or a V. That simply doesn't exist. So, if we have a verb with a V at the end of the stem, then we 
have to uh, change it into an F if we have a verb that ends that has the Z at the end of the stem, we have to change the Z into an S. Well, that's about it. Let's head to the overview of the rules I just gave you. The most important thing is you have to take away EN in order to get the stem. Like werken, take away EN, werk. But sometimes you have to think of the spelling. The spelling can be that you have to have two vowels. You do that when there's one consonant at the end of the stem. Like you see with werk, there is two consonants, R, K, so we do not double the E. But with woon, you see that there is one N, one consonant. Therefore, we have to double the vowel before that consonant, which is the O, so double O. Then there is the rule of removing the double consonant at the end, if it's the same consonant, because it doesn't exist twice the same consonant at the end. So zitten becomes zit with one T. And of course, the last rule I told you, that there is never a Z or a V at the end. You have to change the Z into the S and the V into the F. All right, then there are a few exceptions to these rules and they actually apply to an exception on rule number two, the doubling of the vowel. Diphthongs, which are combinations of two different vowels like I, E, U, I, O, U, A, U, O, E, etc. They don't duplicate. I mean, which, which of the vowels would you end Anyway, duplicate, right? If you have a word like zoeken, are you going to duplicate the O, the E, or are you going to write two times O, E, O, E? No. You don't duplicate diphthongs. It becomes zoek. Another thing that doesn't duplicate is the I. And uh, also a schwa. I will do, I will make another video on the schwa. The schwa, um, in short terms, it is just an E, if you see E written, but it sounds like E. So, for example, in the word luisteren, you have two schwa's. If the schwa is the last vowel of your stem, you don't duplicate, even though there's just one R, one consonant at the end of your stem. You don't write luister with double E, because a schwa, an E sounding like E, doesn't double. So it becomes luister. Well, that's the overview. Now you know everything on how to make the root of Dutch verbs. Now I will give you one last exercise, short exercise, in which you have to use all this knowledge. There we go. The verbs are lopen, to walk, schrijven, to write, Denken to think, bellen to call, bezoeken to visit. You can pause the video now. All right, let's check it out. How did we do? Lopen, I have highlighted again the important things in the infinitive. Important thing here is that we have to double the O because we have one P, so it becomes loop. Schrijven, the important thing is the V. We cannot have a V at the end of a word, so we make it an F. Schrijf. This means write. Denken, it's a simple one. It has two consonants at the end, so you don't double anything. It's a simple one. You remove the N, and there you go. It means think. Bellen, it has the double L. You cannot have twice the same consonant at the end. Bel. To call by phone. Bezoeken. Well, you have the diphthong, O, E, combination of two different vowels. So even though you have only one consonant at the end of your stem, the K, you cannot double a diphthong. So it will be bezoek. To visit. All right, so what is next? Now that you know how to make the root, it's time to get into 
conjugation of verbs. So we start with the present tense. Later you will also need to know how to make this time for learning the past tenses. I will make a video about this soon. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned from it. And if anything is unclear, uh, please let me know. Uh, if you did like my video and you want to stay up to date about new videos on Dutch grammar, please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends or leave a comment.